Hi, this is Majin and here's my comic reviews for Wolverine and the X-Men 6, X-Force 22. Let's do Wolverine first. Now, I don't think this is as, was as strong as an issue as the previous ones, but this is, I guess you can say, an episode in transition, because, you know, we have to do certain things to get to the end, and that's why it wasn't maybe necessarily as fun, but there were still lots of great moments in here. Basically what we're looking at is Wolverine and Quentin go up into space at a casino and they're trying to basically rob the casino using Quentin's uh, powers. While that's going on on Earth, you have a bunch of the X-Men inside Kitty Pride battling the Brood. You have a strange alien invader with Brood uh, attacking the mansion, killing off the sword people, and... Uh, Inside the body of Kitty Pride is actually kind of funny here and there, especially anytime Kid Gladiator is involved. Kid Gladiator is, is a definite win character. He's he's just some guy who just loves battle, and he the lines that they give him, while it's not a lot, it's just enough to keep me entertained. Um, along that line, you have Brew, which is entertaining, and in my opinion, probably one of the best new X Men characters. You know, it's just a shame that like uh, people like uh, Brew and Kid Gladiator are probably just going to go away once they finish, you know, once uh, Aaron gets off this and goes on uh, to do something else. Because, uh, you know, what they have working here right now is gold, uh, especially gold in the right hands. Now, while all of that nonsense is going on, and obviously... In the casino, you have Wolverine and Quentin winning a large amount of money. People are suspicious, and then they go after them to investigate their winnings, I guess you can say. So that's what I mean. It's like it's it's kind of like an expected flow of the story, but it's it's what was needed to be done. And along the way, it is kind of entertaining the way Wolverine and uh, Quentin interact with each other. Still, I think this is still one of the best... Uh, Marvel titles, uh, and pretty much one of the best comics that are out there in general. Um, if anything, this little quiet, I mean, even though I'm, I'm calling it a quiet time, even though there was battle in here, this time here is just making me more excited for the next issue. So I think Aaron did a fantastic job in the long run in delivering a superior product and, and moving the story along, and uh, I can't wait. Now, uh, X-Force 22. I'm not going to say a lot uh, about this issue here, other than the key part I'm going to say is, wow, this issue was just amazing. Uh, I, I don't necessarily like the artwork that much, but I think there's times where it really shines, and there's other moments where I don't think it's, it's as strong. Like the, the Deadpool pictures... Fantastic. I love the expressions with Deadpool's face. Uh, but some of the Wolverine pictures, though, they kind of look um, not very developed. Eh, not, not developed. Clumpy or lumpy. You know, it's not very defined like I would have liked to see it. It's very stylized, so that's just my personal opinion on the style of art. I think Nightcrawler is, is great. Uh, the... Something bad happened with uh, Betty, and she did something which she's not really going to say what uh, what it is to save Phantom X. And I'm really curious to see what's going to happen along those lines once that's revealed. Uh, this interaction here with Phantom X and Betty was, was great. The truth comes out about uh, what he did to her and, and manipulated her. But while all of that's going on, you have you know the battle... Uh, with Kevin Britton, the invaders, you have dragons, you have explosions, people getting killed. And all I have to say is the ending to this story, this pay, this comic, was was a, a jaw-dropping, oh my god, I can't believe they did this, and I need. This isn't like, I want the next issue, I need the next issue, and I need it now. I'm going to give you, I'm going to spoil it, but I'm going to be, I'm going to be a little bit different with the spoilage. 
I'm going to say one of two things happened. And, you know, uh, that way you're not necessarily uh, completely spoiled. Uh, on one hand, maybe it ended with Nightcrawler losing his tail. That could have been an ending. Or the other ending is somebody got his face chopped off, skin sliced off. One of those two endings happened. And I got to say, oh, oh, I need this next issue bad. X-Force, if you're not, I can't stress this enough. If you're not reading X-Force, you're doing yourself a dis disfavor. This is the best book Marvel has out. And oh, that it, there's nothing that com comes close to this. The way I look at it is this. And this might help put things into perspective. You have books like Captain America and Spider-Man and regular X-Men titles, Avengers, things like that. And that's for uh, teenagers, maybe, uh, younger adults, uh, you know, and of course the, the, the adults who never grew up. Okay, there's nothing wrong with reading those books. That's fine. X-Force is written for the fanboy who has been reading comics for 20 years and wants something more out of their story. That's what this is like. And I just thank God that Revenger's doing this because this is the best thing I've read in a long time. This, if anything, makes me excited to want to read comic books again. Uh, the Revenger, X-Force, the Wolverine of the X-Men, Heck, even Batman uh, from the DC relaunch, Aquaman, uh, the Swamp Thing, Animal all of those titles really make me excited to go to the store every week and buy. But these two books right here are the ones that uh, that should just be on everybody's pull list. Whether or not, even if you hate the X-Men, I know why you hate the X-Men, because it's been plagued with bad. But this is solid solid reading and you're you're really missing out on a lot of fun so anyways if you have any comments or questions let me know uh i'm sorry my nose is getting all stuffy now and my cold is caught up to me so I'll, i'm just going to read more books instead of doing reviews and hopefully i'll have more reviews for you tomorrow or the next day um if you have any comments or questions let me know rate the video up or down let me know what you think and i'll have more reviews as soon as i can until next time